From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. The inner city violence continues in the capital, and the murder total for the year has jumped to 26 as a result, with two more reported to police during a two-hour span last night. Both shooting incidents, one in Baintown, the other in Fox Hill. The victim in the Baintown incident is a 10-year-old boy, one of four persons shot in that incident. The others include two other children and a man. They're all in hospital, and police have not released details of the incident as yet. No details released on the Fox Hill incident either. Police only saying at this point that the victim is a man. Health officials trying to calm fears over the safety of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine they're getting ready to roll out. Concern after some European countries suspended use of the vaccine temporarily following some reported negative reaction. Our officials say they have no concerns about the 20,000 batch we have and that all vaccines will continue to meet stringent regulatory approval standards. The Corona Committee expected to announce details of the rollout plan today. Meantime, there's another spike in confirmed cases in Grand Bahama. 22 total cases for Wednesday spread over four islands, 14 of them in Grand Bahama. Six in the capital, 16 persons in hospital, with one person in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The House completing that lengthy debate on the midterm budget report. Finance Minister, Prime Minister, Minister, the last speaker. The Prime Minister clearing the air on a possible early election yesterday after opposition leader Davis brought up a report from the American Standard & Poor's rating agency which refers to a 2021 election for the Bahamas. The election is not due until May of next year. Then that changes the Bahamian populace with no. Be they given three weeks notice Four weeks notice, six weeks notice, they would know. There could be a legal fight over shanty towns coming soon. Works Minister Bannister is promising that there'll be what he called relentless and decisive action in a matter of weeks on shanty towns in Abaco. Lawyers for shanty town residents now filing court papers seeking an extension of a current injunction which prevents the government from taking any action to evict shanty town residents. Police reporting that a 43 year old woman reported as missing here in the capital since last week has been found. She's okay and she's getting help. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, partly sunny and breezy today, maybe a passing shower. Highs from the mid-70s to low 80s, 77 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are still up for boaters. Winds gusting to 20 knots still. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Winds and seas decreasing today. Low tide now, the next high around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business... Nobody does it better than insurance management. Let's get the weekend started. The Weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of The Weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, coronavirus optimism in the U.S. continues. They continue to vaccinate and the cases and deaths continue to come down. President Biden now saying he wants all Americans to be able to get vaccinated by the 1st of May. Major concerns over increasing violence in Myanmar as the standoff continues there. The United Nations now looking into claims of possible crimes against humanity being committed by the military leaders there. Another kidnapping in Nigeria, gunmen taking dozens of students in the latest incident at a school in the northwest of the country. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 452, SO 452, Rubens $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. New dates for the Carifta Games. Find out when they are scheduled for now. Both DeAndre Ayton and Buddy Heal in action last night as the NBA gets back into action. First game's out of the All-Star break for them, and both won. Ayton had 11 points in a Suns win over Portland. 
He'll have 20 points in a Sacramento win over Houston. Get the rest of the NBA news, the Major League Baseball spring training update, on the latest on college basketball in the U.S. as they prepare for the tournament coming March Madness. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day, all weekend at Tribune242.com.